Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 when I post videos on this channel. Hey, if it's your birthday, I want to wish you a very special happy birthday, because it's always cool to take another lap around the sun, right? You get gifts. Coming to you today from the 1981 Ford Mustang that I have, the Fox Body Mustang that I've harvested some parts for my Fairmont project. And the reason I'm in the uh, Mustang today is because of the smell. <laughs> I know that's probably weird. Well, it's not probably weird. I know that's weird. There's something about the smell of old vehicles. Uh, and recently I took a trip to uh, Arizona for Barrett Jackson and I found myself sticking my head in some of those cars just to smell some of the old vinyls, just the old materials that they used to use. And it's not just old cars either. I mean, I used to work at a new car dealership, so I'd be in and out of new cars all the time and they have a distinct smell all their own. I've also heard that some of those smells in new cars aren't necessarily good for you. In fact, uh, can be carcinogenic, weirdly enough. I mean, I, I guess everything is trying to kill you, but uh, you know, it's, I like the new car smell and it's just sad to think that it might be harmful to my health. So I thought I'd make a video bringing up the discussion with you, the audience, about the way cars smell. I mean, some of them, like say my uh, Acura, the RL that I bought, that's basically a dog kennel and the kind of smell that that emits, well, that's not so pleasant. But something about the old funkiness of a car like this 80s Mustang, you know, just kind of like gets to you. In fact, I believe that your sense of smell is very closely connected to memory. And in fact, things that will evoke memories quicker than anything are certain smells. So it's, it's kind of one of those nostalgia kind of things. It's kind of one of those things that takes you down memory lane. You know, the smell of a vehicle, I think invokes a lot of emotions and a lot of memories for a lot of people. New cars, old cars, they all have a certain presence or uh, aroma, <laughs> I guess we're gonna call it. And I just, you know, wanted to see what you thought of the old car smell new car smell. I mean, what is it that you prefer? What, what are you into? Is there like the smell of old leather or in this case, these are old uh, cloth seats, old vinyl seats uh, like I have in the Fairmont. What is it that like really gets you? Like when you get into a car, it like takes you back or maybe takes you forward. Like I said, in new cars, they have their own distinct smell as well. I'd love to get your thoughts on that. I know it's a short one today, but I think it's kind of a cool topic. The smell, the scent of an automobile. Oh yeah, and I can't forget about us adding smells to our vehicles. Sometimes we put air fresheners in there, or special shampoos in the carpet. I mean, there's a big joke between me, Humble Mechanic, about black ice uh, air fresheners. <laughs> you know, something about smell in the vehicles, it, it's just something that seems to go hand in hand. One more thing I don't want to forget, not just the smell of the interior, the smell of the exhaust. Uh, while I was at Barrett-Jackson, Barrett there were a lot of older carbureted vehicles and just the smell the, of, of also race gas, you know, uh, just the smells of the automotive world just invoke so many things in me and I just wonder if it's the same for you. I'm Eric the Car Guy. If you have automotive questions, I'm gonna ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com. I'll post a link to that in the description. Uh, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you wish to connect with me socially. And I close each of my videos, of course, with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.